It's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to make a fun thank you card for friends of ours. We uh, Yesterday he and his wife coordinated a big project. We landscaped for a friend of ours who is ill and um, well I, I did dishes and inside things that would you know be more in my skill set but anyway the men did um, paving or they did those little pavers and create a sidewalk and the women um, did all of the mulching and the uh, weeding for the year and the house is in the woods and has a lot of flowery things around it it's really a lovely setting but uh, because he's been ill they hadn't had the time to do it so there were about 15 of us there and um, our friend coordinated the food he, he and his wife coordinated getting the people and the food and the tools and everything so I wanted to send them a thank you note because it was a lot of work on their part and also he told me he's never gotten a card from me because our friend said thanks so much for the cards you've been sending me and so he said hey I've never gotten a card so of course I have to make sure I don't I'm not remiss in that so anyway we're gonna work with this um, typewriter from a close to my heart set called typed note and there's also a, a finger pointing I liked this set because it was kind of masculine and uh, quirky at the same time and you can uh, stamp a sentiment right in the the um, where the paper comes up from the typewriter. This didn't even, that didn't even really make sense. Maybe it did. I'm going to use Versafine on Versafine Onyx Black, sorry, on this and I am using a tag that hopefully the tag will work um, with this. I'm afraid I've had trouble with the the um, typewriter actually ad adhering itself to the tag so I'm hoping that this will not be a problem now get off any of the extra ink I have and I'm going to slide it over and stick it right there and I, I will probably stamp this more than once because I want to make sure it's a really dark stamped image and that's why I like that Versafine Onyx Black because it's so nice and dark and just a vivid black and as you know, I'm not really good, making sure it's in the picture, yeah, I'm not really good at um, embossing, so, yeah, it's stuck to it. Of course it did. And I'm going to have to stick it back in there, and hopefully it's in the same spot it was before. You see how part of it did not stamp, and part of it did, so I'm hoping that with uh, repeated stamping, that we can get the whole image stamped on there. There's one part in particular that apparently doesn't doesn't want to stamp. Well, we're going to get this bugger stamped. I don't care what it thinks. It's going to do it. Okay. Let's hope we're in the right spot. Right there. Or is it that spot? One of these areas is where it didn't want to stamp before. If it doesn't stamp really well this time, I'm going to put it on the floor and rub my foot over it. As you know, that's my little trick I do. It's horrible and it's wrong, but it's what I do. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? It's a lot better than it was. Oh, and here's a little trick somebody ta taught me, and I don't, I might have been Carol Held. Um, she's a YouTuber that. Um, if you don't, if you've never seen her videos, she is a really, really great uh, artist. She does everything. She's just really amazing. But anyway, I think she does this where she puts washi tapes on her magnets. I've been having trouble with my mag magnets exploding, and um, you don't want that to happen. And what happens is whenever they attach themselves to each other, I'm wa washing this while I talk to you in case you can't see that. Um, if you have them get really close to each other and then they um, adhere to each other, when they do the adhering, they smack too hard against each other and they break. And uh, they don't break easily. They break at really unusual angles and they're sharp. So um, it's not something I'm really excited about having happen. And I've had it happen several times. I don't, 
I, you know, I, I thought I was the only one, but uh, someone else said that that happened to them several times too. So then I felt better that it wasn't just me. And um, Carol d uh, did this. I think it was Carol. I'm positive it was Carol. She did this technique where she put the washi tape on hers because it was easier for her to woo, pick them up. You see how mine do that? It scares the crap out of me when that happens. Um, but anyway, she did this just so uh, she could be sure that hers would, um, would she could get them apart. And also because of the problem she was having with them, um, you know, slapping together like they just did for me. And so um, I'm hoping that I can make sure that um, this image, I'm sorry my head's probably in the picture and I'm apologizing for that in advance, but it's the only way I can really see it and make sure that it's in the right spot. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay, now watch, it's going to stick to it. Oh, not too bad. Oh. See, maybe I should just say that in advance. This is going to stick to it, and then it won't. We'll go with that. It could happen. I mean, it could work. I doubt it. Oh, I just got ink all over my... That's the beauty of me and the Misty. I get ink, more ink on the Misty than I get on my projects. Okay, another big spot of ink. Okay, and now I just got a bunch on my hand. Jeez, oh man. Crazy. So then I thought after I did the tag, what I would do is distress it around the edges with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some Tim Holtz uh, distress ink. I haven't decided on the color yet, but then underneath it, I thought I would use um, some old paper I have out of a book, and the book I have is an old uh, French book, and it's, you know, the paper is yellowed and it's um, uh, from a French teacher, so it's a you know it's a student book, student book. I don't know. It's a book that you use to to teach class with. There you go. I'm making sense now or not. Jeez. Oh well, I got to think on it now to really do a nice job. Hopefully, get that on there. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Now let me wipe that off real quickly. I don't know if we're going to need the Misty again or not. <clears throat> I just thought I'd show you this book. Uh, that's why I left it here. Um, I don't know what it says, but that's what it is. That's the French book that it is. And I tore this page out because I thought it was, um, you know, the back of it was really cool. And um, I'm still using the written side, but I just thought it was really interesting paper and I stamped on the inside already with another stamp set this is from Hero Arts that says how thoughtful no, how thoughtful you are and then the outside says just a quick note to say thank you how thoughtful you are and this Hero Arts set is just got a number on it it's CL351 and I haven't put that in my storage because I'm currently out of uh, CD cases, which is bumming me, but what are you going to do? <clears throat> so, what I thought I would do is kind of hold my card. I said, if you tear away from you, if you tear towards you, I can't remember which way you're supposed to tear to get a, a better tear. We're tearing like that. I guess toward us is the way we're going. And then I'm going to tear... I don't like that really um, weird. Um, I don't like that weird edge. This it's kind of brown on the edge. I don't like that when I'm doing a card. I like it to be old looking, but not not like that. I'm go down this side. Maybe I should try it away from me. No, I got to do the top first. enough. I'm really getting good at this. I might use a ruler for this piece. I know it's cheating, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I wasn't sure if I would be able to do this, the ripping part, correctly. Because I wasn't sure if this paper would rip right. 
I decided what I was going to do is go around the outside edge of my tag with some Memento Tuxedo Black just on the edges just to differentiate it from uh, the rest of the tag. I already did this once and so if I'm duplicating what I said on uh, the video before I apologize but as I was going around this the last time and explaining it to you I very quickly gouged the whole side of my page and put a big black line down the front really made me happy I was thrilled you know when things like that happen you're just so tickled with yourself Got a little smudge on there and I'm gonna have to live with that I also decided I was going to use some frayed burlap and go around the edge of my uh, ripped paper and to do that I can't decide I think I'm going to start with one of these little um, brushes and see exactly how dark does it make it because I'm not exactly certain you know when you do something like this you want to make sure it doesn't look too um, odd or you know like the, ch the colors just don't work together and so I'm hoping that this does work. At least it'll work with the background color, which is the craft cardstock. And I en might end up going around the um, edge of the tag with this, even though I did the black already. I might do the whole background of this paper with it. I don't know at this point. I like the color of it. I think it looks um, interesting. And you know, it's something I like. A little bit, a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. So I'm just gonna go across the whole page, I guess. I could have flipped the whole pa the uh, whole ink pad over, but I've learned from experience that if you run the ink pad over your paper, you really get a wet surface, and and then when you dry it, it ends up getting really. Um, uh, warps and it just becomes a problem and I don't dig it that's all I'm saying don't dig it at all I do like that though I think that looks kind of cool so I'll put that up there and then I do think I'm going to go over my note this will look kind of cool when it's done what I'm going to do next is I uh, have this burlapy ribbon and I thought what I would do is uh, fold it in half and kind of make it into a ball like that and run it through the center of the card and pull the circle through enough that I can push my two back pieces through it Oh, I forgot I need to cut a little bit of that. That was dumb. I need to cut a little bit of my um, card base off because I think it's too long. Okay, let's see if we can get this to be tighter. I am going to have to shorten our card a little bit, which I hate doing because I have to rework my black on the bottom. And you know there's a chance if I do that that I'll really screw it up. This is a trimmer from um, Creative Memories. If you've never seen me use it, it's uh, a little guillotine trimmer. And it works really good for little projects like what I just did. Okay, let's cross your fingers. I'm going to go around the bottom with this memento black. Okay, there's that. I think it's time to put our card together. So, first of all... Should I rip that little edge off? I think I need to rip that little edge off. It's bugging me. And I have uh, some... I had bought a bunch of double-sided tape before I uh, started buying tear tape and all the other tapes. And um, somebody said, well, why don't you use that tape up? And they said, go to the Dollar Tree and get yourself a, a tape dispenser and that should work like a charm so that's what I did got myself this little tape dispenser 
and my double sided tape that I already had, now I can use it. Because before it was just too much of a hassle trying to get it, you know, you try to get it out of the, um, out of the roll. Okay, last piece on the bottom. Okay. Right side up. I think I'm going to tear that little weird edge off too if I can. There. Much better. I got some Tombow Mono Aqua. I'm just going to do around the edges because clearly that other stuff was not going to work. At least not on the edges. And I don't want this thing to come apart in the mail. That'll stink if it does. I'll just put a little glue under the corners where I think it might come up. Or definitely is coming up. The whole thing is just coming apart. Look, it's just coming right up. It's like there's no tape on it at all. How lucky. Good enough. That piece even, even that corner seems like it's going to stay on there. I'm shocked even. Okay. Next step. We're going to put our, uh, our tag Forgot the word tag. Notice that big lull in the conversation there. Forgot the word tag. That's part of the beauty of being me. If I can't even remember the word tag. I don't like that ribbon. Do you like that ribbon? It's terrible. It's too thick. Maybe if I cut it in half. Let me think about that. I think I'm going to try that. At the very least, when you watch my videos, you you uh, figure out how to change your mind on the fly. We're going to cross our fingers on this and make it long enough that we can pull both edges through. One piece is trying to come off of the side. Don't do it. Just stay there. Do any of you talk to your work like I do? I wonder if anyone else is talking to their projects like I talk to mine. I think you've noticed I talk to mine quite a bit. Okay. Well, it's better than it was. I think I'm going to snip that one little end off, that one piece that disconnected itself. And then... I'm going to make them like that long. Go on with that. We'll see what you think. Now, I don't know if I sh I know I'm going to pop it up, but I didn't know if I should end up putting the um, hand pointing to something in the inside or not. I just don't know what I want to do about that hand because I like the idea of the hand pointing at something. I might put it on the inside of the card. Or I might leave it off completely. Because, you know, at this point, I'm kind of running a risk of really screwing this thing up. Okay. It made me laugh. I watched somebody else um, taking the back off the tear tape on a video and they were having a devil of a time with it and I kept thinking you need to push down those ends if you don't push down the ends it doesn't come off that's the big secret you've got to push down oh look how it stuck to me you have to really make sure your edges are adhered on those or else you can't pull the edges off okay now I'm going to turn it sideways if you don't know that part of my uh, thinking I do best if I can line things up from the sides I think I do a better job of putting it down straight and just you know in general it just I don't know I think it just looks better how's that hit you mm, it's not bad so I found these little um, circles and squares in my stash and I thought what I would do is just kind of drop them on my ink pad, that same frayed burlap, and then 
flip them over and lay them down. And then I think I'm going to take my heat tool and see if I can dry them. We're going to cross our fingers on that one. Hope we're the best. Yeah, they're wet all right. Let me see if I can use one of my sponges. Maybe try and dab it on there too kind of make sure that they're, well, let's see if we can get them to look more colored. They have little tabs on the back that you take off the sticky stuff. So I moved this one around and I decided that I would put these two buttons down, if I can get them off the, there, and kind of make up the difference. Well, we just have a couple more steps with this project and we'll be done. We just I'm going to put some washi tape that has these. Uh, keys on it. I like the look of it. I thought it was kind of, I don't know, I thought it just kind of fit with my theme. I don't know why, but I thought it did. If you can hear that tromping around, that's uh, Aggie. She tripped when she walked into the room. She's she's not the, uh, she's not the fastest on her feet now. She's almost 15, you know, so she's not a spry chicken. So I put the two buttons on and uh, I think they look good and I went around the edge of the front of the card with uh, that burlap ink. Made this for you and our card is done and so is the envelope. I hope you liked it. I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.